You look at us, you know, the, the eyes we're seeing with, the way we're talking, the way we hear, the way our heart is beating, the way we're breathing, the way you're understanding what I'm saying, you're responding. Do you think this was created or this is just by chance? Oh no, it was created. Okay, so you believe in a creator? Yeah, I just don't know who, who this creator is. Okay, so you believe there's, there's a power out there, yeah. that he's powerful, yeah. he's knowing. He, he's, he's a creator, good. he's yeah. good, yeah. merciful, sends down the rain, yeah. gives us food, gives us... Yeah. Like for example, when you were born, you came out from your mother and straight away your mother loved you. And you needed your mother to take care of you. So this love was what caused her to look after you. So this must be from God. This is, so this shows that God is loving, God is caring, God has given you everything you needed. So you do believe in God? Yeah, but well, not the Christian God. No? Okay, okay. Yeah, that's but, the only God I've, I've been told. There but is. what do you mean by the Christian God? Do you mean the Trinity? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm Italian, you know, so... Okay. Christian is so big in Italy and... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Until I was 15, you know, I was going to okay. church and... Okay, okay. Okay, so what, when we say God, we mean the, the all-knowing, the all-merciful, the creator, the one who gives us life, the one who created the universe, the one who provides for us, the one when we ask him, he responds to us. This is what we mean by God. And we believe that, you know, all of the messengers, we, so when there's a God, we believe he must have made us for a purpose. So when I, if I ask you now, what is the purpose of the sun? You will say to give light, to give heat, to cause the plants to grow. If we say, what's the purpose of the rain? You know, we will give an answer. So there must be a purpose to us. Yeah, and I want to find this. Okay. In Islam, we would say, the purpose, it comes from the Creator. The create, the one who made us, He is the one who gives us the purpose. And he, he informs us of this. He doesn't leave us, you know, blind and lost. So we believe that He sent messengers. You know, the best of mankind, like Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus. And obviously after Jesus, we believe in Muhammad. Peace upon all of them. And we believe they brought books. So we believe the, the message they, they all came with was the same. We don't believe that, you know, one came with Judaism, one came with Christianity. We believe, no, they all came with the same thing, which is recognize God is one and live your life according to how God wants, pleasing to God. And that will, like, for example, if, if all mankind now, if we all worship God and we live our life how God wants, it will not increase God in His greatness, in His majesty. If all of us now, if we reject God and we disobey God, it won't harm Him in any way. So we're saying that the, the worship to God is because God deserves to be worshipped. And second is, is our benefit. If I obey God, I will benefit. If I live my life how God wants, I will benefit. If I turn away, then I will suffer. So, we understand that whenever God sent a messenger, if the people, they forgot the message or they changed the message, another messenger would be sent. So we believe that Moses came and then the people, the children of Israel, they changed his message. They disobeyed him, they forgot the message, they began to worship false gods. Some of them they killed messengers. So then God sent another messenger, many, many messengers, and then he sent Jesus. But we believe Jesus, he was sent to the children of Israel to call them back to worship God. But we don't believe Jesus came and said, I am God, worship me, because he was a man. He used to eat food, he became tired, he, he himself worshipped God, he needed God. So therefore, for us he's not God. So that was his message. But we believe after Jesus was taken up, the people, you know, the, the Roman culture, the Greek culture, where man can become God, the gods, they can look down and see a beautiful woman and they have relationship and then you have a child who is a God-man. We believe that the teachings of Jesus were mixed with uh, the Roman and Greek culture. You know, human sacrifice, that in order to please God, a human has to be sacrificed. So we believe this is not the teachings of Jesus. Jesus' message was simple. There's one God, worship Him alone, and follow the teachings I've come with. 
So because of this, we believe another messenger came 600 years later, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, with the same way of life, the same teachings. Because um, you know the word Islam? Islam, it means submission. It just means you submit yourself to the will of God. You live your life how God wants. And we don't worship Noah, we don't worship Abraham, we don't worship Moses, we don't worship Jesus, we don't worship the Prophet Muhammad, we don't worship any angel, we don't, because all of these things are created and they all need God. We only worship God. That's the central message of Islam. How, how does it sound? Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Do you have any questions or? No, like how do you, how do you? This, I don't know, like just read it or is it easy to read? Um, see, this, this is the Quran. Yeah. We believe the, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he lived his life for 40 years amongst his own people in the city of Mecca and he was known to be honest, trustworthy, he was known by everyone. He could not read, he could not write. And at the age of 40 to 63, he began to receive a revelation. The Quran. So the Quran we don't believe is the words of the Prophet Muhammad or the Muslim scholars. We believe this is purely the words of Allah. And it is revealed at different times and different situations over 23 years. So if, if you read the message, it's, it's, it's very simple. And if you have any questions, you can make a, make a note. But the thing is, the Islam is very vast. Because in the Quran Allah mentions, um, in chapter 5, verse 3, it says, Al-Yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa raditu lakum islam adina. Allah said, this was uh, to the Prophet before he died, about 80 days before he died, this verse was sent down. And this verse says, Al-Yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum. On this day, I have completed your way of life for you. I have completed my favor upon you. And I am pleased, the God is saying, I am pleased for you, the way, of your, the way of your life is Islam, submission to God. So we believe Islam is complete. Like, from the morning, when I wake up, to how to sleep, uh, how I should worship God, how I should believe in God, how I should be towards my wife, how I should be towards my children, how we should treat our enemy, how we should treat our friend, how we treat the elders, what we're allowed to eat, what we're not, it's, it's a complete way of life. So there's, there's so much to learn. But it's something which is beneficial for us because it's from God. So, just to uh, backtrack a bit, when I said about the purpose of creation, the Quran is very clear. The Quran says, uh, God says, Allah says, I did not create jinn, which is a separate creation, and mankind except to worship me. We have been created to know God, to recognize God, and to worship Him for our benefit and because he deserves to worship. Allah mentions Allah said that is because God, Allah, he is the truth and anything which is worshipped other than him it is falsehood as in it doesn't deserve to be worshipped. So that's a simple message of Islam but my point is Allah Mr. Wells how are you? The, the message is very complete but the simple foundation is there's one God, worship Him alone and follow the messenger sent to you. If that's clear to you, you can accept it. If you want, you can look into it more. What do you think? Okay, no problem. We're, the thing is, if you agree, you agree. If you don't agree, Thank you. Is, is there any, is that, does, the, does, it, does it sound correct to you? Does it sound yeah. truthful? Yeah, well, you know, it's the first time that I speak. Okay. There's so many information. Like, yeah. It's so, it's like a new language. Okay, okay. So maybe it's, it's normal for you, right? But yeah, it's normal for us. But can you can you see that, that Moses, he would have came with the same as Jesus, and he would have came with the I same as... I know this, but it yeah. makes yeah. sense, yeah. You know, I like, because we wouldn't say that God sent different prophets with different messengers. We say that the message is the same. So that's uh, Islam. Allah mentions in Quran, uh, chapter 3, he says, uh, He said, If anyone desires or chooses a way of life other than Islam, submission to God, it will never be accepted from them. 
and in the hereafter, the next life, that person will be amongst the losers. Because we don't, we don't believe that Jesus came and said, I am God. The Quran is very clear. If, when you, if you remember, uh, chapter 19 of the Quran is called chapter Mary or Maryam. The whole chapter is about the life of Jesus and it's named after the mother of Jesus, Mary. So in there, Jesus says, uh, inni abadullah, He said, verily, Jesus says to the people, I am the worshiper of God. I worship God. He has given me a book and he has made me a prophet. And he's made me blessed wherever, wherever I am. And he's commanding me to pray and to give charity as long as I live. So this is the message. And then it continues and it says, uh, Jesus says that, that verily Allah is my Lord and he's your Lord. So worship him alone. That is the straight path. This is, the, this is what all the messengers taught. God is one, worship him alone. You know it's in the Bible, hear O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. This is what Moses taught, this is what Jesus taught. So that's the, the message of Islam. Do you have any questions? Yes, so I, I, would, I would advise you to look into it and read the stuff. If you have any questions, come back to us. Okay, my dad. No problem, thank you very much. Bye bye, take care. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Yeah, you know, alhamdulillah. I mean, I offered her indirectly, but I want, it's, it's better, it's better if someone knows it's true, they embrace Islam straight away. But at the same time, I mean, people have to learn, people have to be sure, people have to understand it. Because you don't want her to,